My name is Will Smith, and I am the president and director of Monrovia Football Academy, the first school in Liberia to combine formal education with professional soccer development. Before I introduce the academy, I want to tell you a little bit about Liberia and explain why a young guy from Connecticut decided to open a school there. Liberia has been one of the 10 poorest countries in the world every year since 1980. A 14-year civil war that ended in 2003 and the Ebola crisis that ended in 2016 have left Liberia particularly debilitated, with devastating effects on the country's economy and specifically the country's youth. I first visited Liberia in the summer of 2013 to complete an internship in the U.S. Embassy, conduct honors thesis research, and prepare for my final college soccer season at the College of William & Mary. Through a crazy turn of events, I eventually met George Weah, a Liberian soccer star who is the only African ever named FIFA World Player of the Year. At the time, George Weah was the peace ambassador in the country, and he decided to put on a soccer match to promote peace and reconciliation. He invited 40 legends from across the continent to play in the game guys I'd grown up worshipping, and then he invited me to play, too. I think it was an act of diplomacy more than anything, but I wasn't going to say no. So I got to play in this game with 35,000 people in the national stadium, and it really showed me the transformative potential of soccer in the country, the passion and energy people have for it, the way that young people rally around it. About a month later, a statistic came out that 25,000 high school graduates had failed the University of Liberia's entrance exam. President Sirleaf went on air and admitted that the education system was a mess, and there were, there were protests across the capital city, Monrovia. And so this was the turmoil I was leaving when I returned to William Mary in the fall of 2013. Fast forward a year now, October 2014. I arrive in Oxford to complete my master's in African studies, and it's the height of the Ebola crisis. I'm still in touch with a few friends in Liberia, hearing their stories, and I'm grappling with these three pressing issues I had identified during my time in Liberia. The first was the failing education system. Less than 50% of Liberian youth are literate. The second was gender inequality. During my three months in Liberia, I never saw a girl playing soccer, and most of the kids I saw selling in the streets were girls. The third was the exploitation of athletes. A French NGO, Coutures Foot Solidaire, estimates that hundreds of young Liberian soccer players are illegally trafficked to Asia every year. These issues were producing a severe lack of opportunities for young people, and as a result, youth were disenfranchised and economic opportunities were limited. I was sitting with my advisor in Oxford, one of the world's top scholars on Liberia, and we came to the conclusion that what Liberia needs is a set of citizens with the education, leadership skills, and integrity needed to lead positive change. Despite education reform and various reforms in sectors across Liberia, what was really required was an institution that could provide a premium product for Liberia's most talented youth, something that could accelerate positive change in the country by producing strong leaders. I realized I was in a very unique position. I had this network of Liberian soccer players that no one outside of Liberia really had, and at the same time, I come from a privileged background and figured I would be able to raise some money. And so I reached out to the guy who had become my best friend in Liberia, Sekou Manuba, a former national team player. And I asked him, what do you think of opening a football academy that could create new opportunities for Liberia's young boys and girls? He said, let's do it. And so the Monrovia Football Academy was born. Monrovia Football Academy opened in October 2015. What we do is we use soccer as a positive incentive mechanism to improve academic performance, break down gender barriers, and produce well-rounded leaders. Our students are with us from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., Monday through Friday, with soccer practice in the morning, lunch at noon, and academic classes in the afternoon. Our model is a five-step process. First, we identify the most talented boys and girls we can find, regardless of social indicators such as income, ethnicity, religion, etc. From there, we provide a holistic set of programs for our students, as outlined on the slide. Within these programs, we focus on developing our students' leadership skills. Leadership is strongly emphasized at the academy. Our school slogan is work hard, be a leader, dream big. And the acronym for our school values is LEAD, leadership, enthusiasm, accountability, and discipline. From there, we build partnerships with top academic and football institutions, both in Liberia and abroad, to ensure our students have access to new opportunities. And finally, we incentivize our students to either stay or return to Liberia and lead positive change. In this, our second year in operation, we've nearly doubled our size from 27 to 50 students. Our students are demonstrating impressive growth, 
We have a robust monetary and evaluation system that includes a randomized controlled trial, parent surveys, and other qualitative methods to assess impact. And we've seen substantial academic and soccer impact over the past 18 months. One nice indicator of our academic impact came from our 2016 entrance exam. Our 27 returning students took the exam and collectively averaged an 80%, while more than 450 applicants who took the exam collectively averaged a 46%. We've also generated strong support from our students' families and communities. 100% of Academy parents say the Academy is better than their child's previous school and that they have seen an improvement in their child's attitude. In addition, we've benefited from a huge amount of local media coverage, strong relationships with local businesses and organizations, and widespread support from community leaders and activists. Perhaps most importantly, we have attracted unprecedented attention from high profile figures from Liberia and around the world. President Sirleaf has visited the Academy twice and she mentioned it in her 2017 State of the Nation speech last month. In December, we welcomed Jill Ellis, the 2015 FIFA Coach of the Year, and Ashlyn Harris, the US Women's National Team goalkeeper to the Academy in Liberia. A number of Liberian ministers and Congress people have visited the Academy. In October, I was invited to make a presentation on the Academy at a FIFA conference in Dubai. And in December, former San Francisco 49ers star Ronnie Lott agreed to join our ambassadors program and do whatever he can to support the Academy. In addition, we've established relationships with the African Leadership Academy in South Africa, prep schools and universities in the US, and two English Premier League clubs, Tottenham and Watford. So, there is some serious momentum. Indeed, we have validated our model and we believe we have proof of concept, but there is one key challenge that is holding us back from scaling. We currently operate in rented facilities. Soccer practice is held on the only two turf pitches in Monrovia and academic classes are held in rented classrooms at a school in central Monrovia. This arrangement limits our impact and poses a number of issues. First, it is a logistical nightmare. Some of our students travel up to two hours per day just to get to and from school. And during the rainy season, bad roads and the fact that Monrovia is the wettest capital city in the world causes students and staff to be late and sometimes completely absent. Second, many of our students live in unstable home environments that disrupt their studies, athletic training, and personal well-being. Third, it imposes a low ceiling on our growth. Next year, we will expand from 50 to 65 students, but we simply cannot expand beyond that number in our current situation. And so in order to sustain our momentum, expand our impact, and really turn this school into a flagship academy, we must embark on our key strategic initiative and build our own facilities. The MFA campus will enable us to more deeply impact our students by giving them a stable and structured environment. It will also allow us to expand our horizons beyond Monrovia and into all 15 counties of Liberia. The ability to recruit top students and footballers from across the country will give us the opportunity to generate a diverse, gifted set of citizens who will lead positive change in the country. The campus will be comprised of a school, dormitories, football pitches, football facilities, staff housing, and a community center. In addition to sparking more complete transformation in our students, it will serve as a symbol for Liberian progress, an institution Liberians take pride in as their own. We launched the capital campaign for the MFA campus in January 2017. The goal is to move into the facilities in September 2018, and in order to build phase one of the campus, we must raise $1.2 million. As you can see, we have built a detailed financial plan around what it's going to take to achieve this expansion. The first step is to secure land. Land ownership is an extremely contentious issue in Liberia, so we must be very careful. The former Minister of Justice has offered his private law firm services free of charge for this process. And we currently have President Sirleaf, the Minister of Youth and Sports, and the Minister of Education making appeals to the government and the University of Liberia to give us donated land. While we, uh, while we work to secure our land, we are also in the midst of identifying three to five donors as lead investors in early 2017. From there, we will diversify our funding sources so that they include institutional donors and sponsorships. At the same time, we must increase operational revenue in order to achieve this expansion. Our operational expenses are event driven. As you can see, there is a steady growth rate in the expenses during the validation phase, and then our expenses more than double when we move into our own facilities. After that, they start to grow at a steady rate of around 7% until we reach capacity in 2023. Since May 2015, we have raised about $260,000. Our biggest donor, Saracen Sport Foundation, has made a multi-year commitment, and we're currently pursuing other institutional donors, individuals, and corporate sponsors so that we can scale up our operational revenue. 
Eventually, we aim to have a minimum of $100,000 in our operating reserve for unforeseen expenses. The MFA campus is the key. It will allow us to accelerate our growth and transform the academy into a school that produces systemic change. Importantly, our impact will go far beyond our 300 students. Academy families will benefit when our students share their healthy and constructive life skills to friends and family. Communities will benefit when graduate, graduates innovate and bring new ideas and approaches to challenges they understand. And perhaps most significantly, society will benefit from a set of citizens that has the skills, experiences, and confidence to lead positive change. Our social impact model is thus somewhat unique. It does not do the academy justice to suggest we're only impacting 300 students at scale. We measure our impact in depth, not breadth. By giving our talented students a life-altering experience and equipping them with the tools they need to lead, we are literally lifting up a nation. On this chart, we show exponential growth in our impact numbers as our students mature, graduate, and enter into leadership positions. And yet still, this chart does not represent the potential impact of this academy. As President Sirleaf said when she addressed our students, they can become the next great footballer like George Weah, or they can become president like her. If just one of our students reaches that level of status within Liberian society and uses the skills developed at our academy to lead positive change, then this academy will be transforming an entire nation. Every country needs prestigious education providers, those special institutions that break down barriers and redefine the definition of what is possible. We believe that Monrovia Football Academy can be that institution in Liberia. But the only way we can achieve that impact is if we expand into our own facilities, and the time is now. We are thus seeking $1.8 million in gifts, grants, and corporate sponsorships to cover capital and operating expenses over the next two years. That investment will build the MFA campus, unlocking our students' potential and placing them in an environment that consistently encourages them to work hard, be a leader, dream big. In 2017, it is time to put faith into our model to redefine the definition of possible in Liberia. You have the power to make it happen, and we hope you will join us. Thank you.